Okay, so <laughs> I'm so, sure you recognize the game. I actually do not. You, you don't. No, I, I, I don't recognize the game. It, it. I mean, it, it's probably something that I know about, but uh, possibly not. Well, you read the. Uh, I, I mean, you looked at the title, right? Yes, text adventure. Okay, so it's Yes Minister. Actually, oh, I, I believe this is the yes. I knew that face looked familiar. All right, I believe now I know this what we're is Yes about. Prime Minister. Actually, okay, so, all right. Uh, so it, it's kind of an interesting game. I won't say it's programmed very well. Like especially uh -huh. for the time, it it seems like uh, unless it's some kind of DOS box issue, there's a lot of freezing when it loads a, a bit of text. It'll it'll like freeze it up for a minute and then it'll finish loading it. No, I saw that. And uh, yeah, it's uh, but but it's it's kind of got the whole yes minister thing going. Yeah. Which you know, as you know, is uh, just the uh, the banality of evil, as you put it, in government. Yes. Well, that's not that's not my quote. That's oh, I forget who who first said the banality of evil but it's not it's not me is the coloration also weird yes for a few okay. seconds the color is weird when it loads up uh all right I, I think that might actually be due to the uh the game itself because i remember a lot of commodore games back in the day would uh would do that right the text loading though that is kind of weird and you can kind of tell that it's not the best put together game just because the the text, like, you, you see there's, like, the menu will just scroll up instead of deleting yeah. itself. Yeah. Which, uh, I, I don't remember how to do that in Commodore Basic. This, is, this isn't a Commodore game, but, you know, Commodore is what yeah. I know. I don't remember yeah. how to make it not do that, but there was a way. You could, like, clear the, uh, the text entry screen. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, those commands are fairly simple and well-known, yeah. <laughs> I, w I wonder if, uh... If American uh, audiences for this game thought that uh, th thought that uh, Jim was actually telling Humphrey to blow him, I I suppose there was probably some number of people who thought that. So, how much of the show did you actually see? What was it like? Five or six episodes we watched. Oh, we've watched at least that many. Two or three DVDs worth, at least. Okay, so about so about ten episodes. So you, you got Something a pretty like good that, idea yeah. of how it went down. Yes, I mean, yes. Yeah, so have you ever seen House of Cards? I have not. All right. House of Cards is basically the exact same show, uh -huh. except the writers weren't talented enough or funny enough to keep you interested without throwing a lot of sex and violence into it. I see. So, so like, uh, imagine watching Yes Minister and uh, in the middle of the, th say, third episode uh, Jim Hacker has an oral sex scene with his wife. That's that's House of Cards. I see. Oh, and he, he does so angrily. Actually, that's why I stopped watching House of Cards. Uh, I, can, I can understand that. I, I made it through four seasons. God knows how I did it. Or maybe it was three. I, I don't remember. It was a very long run. And the show did a lot of things like this does, where, where uh, in Yes Minister they they kind of showed the behind the scenes how people are really just in it for themselves and. Well, yeah, uh, I mean that's that's kind of the whole point of the show. I mean, I understand the point of the show. I, I can see that this uh, this game seems to be throwing a lot of contradictory things at you at the same time, which <laughs> also seems to mimic the show very well. I mean the the mood is definitely there. The technology is a little bit lacking, but... Yeah, I, it, it actually does do a pretty good job of mimicking the mood of the show, but... Uh, when did the show come out? It was uh, early 80s, I believe. Okay, so this is this is about the level of uh, game that you would expect from that time period, so I'm alright with that. Yeah, th there's actually a new... Uh... <laughs> and this is great! You're just going through a bunch of... A bunch of... <laughs> it's just going on and on and on! And then it's like, oh, oh, yes, that was a good idea. And, like, I have a feeling that you, you got pigeonholed some, at some point, and there wasn't much you could do about it. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly <laughs> like the show. <laughs> it's exactly like the show. You're Jim Hacker getting pigeonholed by the civil service. Basically. Hey, it's April 1st. That's nice. Yeah, there's the uh, sound effects, the wonderful sound effects for the game, by the way. Hey, you missed your 920 uh, uh, 
car thing. Yeah, it's somewhere. really weird. It's hard to like. It's hard to get the exact times that you have to be somewhere because they'll they'll tell you that you have to be in the office at nine twenty. But it, but if you go early, you can't get in, and then you come back right. to your office and you're late, and then there's a message telling you you're late. Uh huh. And then the game froze on me like twenty minutes in, so we're only getting twenty minutes out of this. I'm I'm all right with that. I think that we, I think that we get a pretty good taste of it in twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not the best <laughs> game, but it's definitely... Oh, yeah, you're going to love this. So, all the text that flashes at you so quickly, then they're going to make you watch this uh, teleprompter. <laughs> they really knew how to get to the player. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I felt myself looking at my watch as a kid and saying, yeah, I don't have It even takes anymore. longer on the spaces between words. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you want you want to get the realistic feel of being part of the civil service in uh, Britain at the time. Yeah, I suppose. So. Well, I mean, uh, is it, uh, it's the it, slow I guess that's, ineptitude. I guess that's supposed the... to be like a like the tele. What do they call it? Telex or something? Telex. Te- yeah, yeah Telefax. Yeah. I don't know what that thing is, but it flashes at you sometimes. Uh huh. Kind of looks like a, a a change holder or something. Oh, you have a wall safe. Yeah, I don't know why. It's behind a. It, it's behind. It's a, so that so, it's so that Max. Per, it's so that Max uh, Remington can come in and and, and loot it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stuck casually behind the Union Jack. Fly to London and my six office. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, it, it's uh, a lot of people liked House of Cards, and I can understand it from the perspective of, of yeah, this is kind of what really happens in politics and then they're just putting the extra spin on it of violence and a specific story of intrigue yeah. uh, but but you know both of the shows delve into it but it's just you know this one does it in a lighthearted way that kind of kind of wants you to feel like okay well at least you can get a laugh out of it even though deep down your soul hurts yeah uh, house of cards doesn't have the comedy it just has a bunch of angry people who hate each other and uh Oh, so I guess it's kind of a lot like Yes Minister in that respect. Well, I mean, the people in Yes Minister didn't hate each other per se. There, there was a lot of there was a lot of I mean they, there was a lot they of didn't vocalize, tension, but it was mostly for it was mostly for comic purposes. I mean, it, it's the difference between it's the difference between the nineteen what was it nineteen sixties or nineteen seventies Batman and the and the Dark Knight, right? Yeah, one is one is one has fairly strong comedic elements and one does not. Well, it, it's almost the same. Like, like, I mean, it takes talent to write comedic elements. So, you know, I can understand that those abilities have deteriorated in the last, say, twenty years. Yeah, like, like, I don't think Dark Knight would have done would have done as well with uh, five or six Bane oral sex scenes. <laughs> I don't. I would. I, I would think that those would be right out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the left phone. Yeah, they make different I, sounds, so you know know which one it is. And they flash too. That's nice. I wasn't sure if I should click on it. Like I felt like I was going to start World War Three. Who is what on earth is the? <laughs> That's the question that I was going to ask. <laughs> oh, yeah, goodness. I had no idea, so I just I just picked one that sounded like. Yeah, it well, might be I mean, right. I think that the idea is that you're not supposed to know. That, that's the other point that is important to get across is that the is that the different parts of the civil service wall each other off from relevant information. <laughs> yeah, that, that was that's something that happened a lot in the too. show too. And right? just for the record, yeah, I was totally sold on the idea that there was a mayor of Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's a city. You'd assume there would be a mayor. Well, there'd have to be. How, how does anything get done without a mayor? How how could it? <laughs> I like the way that you can choose what to think, which which then I suppose probably uh, affects your reply. Well, well the, the funny thing is, you're not actually giving a reply. It's almost like they're reading your mind. Like we have to assume uh-huh. that you think it and then you say it, but they don't actually say that. It, 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 it describes what kind of guttural noise you you make to, to acknowledge <laughs> the previous sentence. Is it a, is it a eh, or a huh, or a meh? Yeah, I, I I just can't the get the jabbers? point across enough. So basically, what I what I want to say is uh-huh. that Yes Minister is a very good show that's worth watching if you can deal with the soul pain of seeing how government actually works. Yeah, House of Cards, on the other hand, is a 
really good story that does everything in its power to make you not want to watch it and turn away in disgust. Well, you have to remember that, that you know, you and I aren't the average consumers of, of American television. The, the the average person has a... I, I suppose they really like that stuff or something. I, I mean, because that's that's totally, you know... Ugh, whatever. It, it's just so hard for me to, to, to sit there and, and think when I'm watching one of those scenes. Like, okay, like, like okay, so... So showing how government operates is enough to make me sick to my stomach, yes. as it is. But I can still at least appreciate that the show is, you know, trying to do that. I can find the comedy right. in it in shows sure. like Yes Minister. And, sure. But w- when when it comes to Mr. Th- Woolley is still not in. It's it's like the midday. Why isn't he in his office? <laughs> Busy man. Yeah. So. I, I, I just can't imagine, you know, being in a room full of people, watching House of Cards with them, and then it gets to the oral sex scene, and it's like everyone everyone turns into a bro and has their hat on backwards and goes, Oh, did you see that, bro? And Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's, it, it's like, because well, that's the only thing I can picture in my head where someone's actually enjoying watching this. <laughs> well, that's the thing, is that you're assuming that people are watching it with other people that aren't, like, they're... I, I, I mean... The, the other thing is that is that it seems like there's been less and less uh, push towards you know people watching things in big groups these days. It's just like oh you know you'll you know to to use a trite phrase you know Netflix and chill so to speak right with one particular person. But is uh, that a trite phrase? I've never heard that. It phrase. is. It is. And I and you know you can look it up on on Urban Dictionary if you want, but I don't recommend it. it- Wait, it's, why is it in our, what, what exactly does it mean that it's in Urban Dictionary? Because it can't just mean sit down and watch Netflix. It means to use Netflix as a pretext for sex. Oh. Okay. <laughs> There's other pretexts that probably work a lot better. Yeah, but that that's the one that is in vogue? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Wow, it, 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 you you have to picture like that like nineteen eighties television child commercial face when you try to picture people like, like like who's still watching this and seeing an oral sex scene on television and being stunned and like wow I didn't think they were gonna throw that at me that's that's edgy and over the top that's really cool that they did that like like at this point it's like okay we can move on now it's been done it, <laughs> and I, well, I actually just... looked at my wrist like I was wearing a watch when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> in our minds we are we're all wearing watches and they're all saying that it's too late for that kind of thing so that's actually a good measure of the difference of the times we were living in like back when i was in high school i had a broken watch and as as a comedy gesture i took a piece of tape and stuck it on there and wrote now on it so it was always right yeah. Nowadays, I I would just write too late on it, and and then get as many nowadays, people to ask nowadays, me what time you're, it was you're, as Nowadays, nowadays your watch is your iPhone, and taping a piece of paper to your iPhone with now on it isn't particularly useful. <laughs> uh, my my watch is not my iPhone, and I can still read Roman numerals, so the rest of the world can happily move on without me in that well, regard. I suppose that's true. Yeah, I, I've still I've still not <clears throat> seen the value in one of those. I I have a watch that still has a good battery from uh, almost twenty seven years ago. And how, how long does a charge last on an iWatch or whatever they're called? What are they called? Do they oh, call iWatches? I, I um I forget what they're called. I, it might be i it might be i I, I forget. I I, I, I saw don't that. Don't care exactly. <laughs> It's 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 a it's it's a it's a it's a wealth tech signaling toy. That that's what it is. But it's not because everybody has them. No, not that many people have them because they're incredibly a, inconvenient. A lot of people so have useless. them that shouldn't oh have them because they're so expensive. All, I mean, all it is is a watch that talks to your phone via Bluetooth and then has like a eight hour battery. Life. Can't you just look at your phone? <laughs> yes, yes, you can. But that's too difficult for some people. Like, I like to think that people are, are looking at their iWatches and tapping on it, and then it tells them they have a message, so then they go into their pocket and pull out their phone to look at the full message. It gives them, like, a little blurb, just enough to get them to pull their phone out. It's like, it, it converts your text messages to something that could be p- posted on Twitter. 
You know, but the thing is that for most people, that's enough because their thoughts are only that long. <laughs> Oh, so, uh, good thing we've given this game the salad review it deserves. <laughs> we were reviewing it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I basically put this video together solely to compare it to House of Cards. I really just did that. That's all right. I'm all right with that. I mean, I don't need to watch House of Cards because... You, you don't. It's. I mean, on, on the one hand, like, the idea behind it is really, really good, and I, I really would like to finish it, but on the other hand... Well, it it's, sucks. It's, it's, it's just—it's it's, it's, it's horrible. It's you're, you're just watching. You're just watching a bunch of really good ideas that are that, that are set up against a wall and a firing squad of sex and violence scenes open fire on it. That seems like a pretty reasonable uh, assessment. It, <sighs> it's it's like watching Adam Sandler try to reenact Monty Python sketches. That's exactly what it's like. It. I think the parrot's I... dead. He ain't moving. <laughs> oh, so you mean you mean that it, you mean you mean that it lacks all subtlety at, at, at all place at all places is what you're saying. Anywhere that it really matters, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So 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 yes. So the places where the places where the Monty Python crew would would do something in such a way that you had to think about it for a second before you realized what exactly was being implied. You have Adam Sandler making a funny grandma voice and saying them outright. Yeah, and then singing something about being Jewish. It... Of, of course, of course he would do that. I think this is about where, uh, where the game froze on me. Yeah? I'm sure we'll find out soon. Yeah, we're getting close to the end of the video. I, I, I'm reading 17 minutes out of 19. We got two minutes. You know the good thing is that um, the uh, of us each recording our own audio also is that uh, I'm actually losing you on Skype, but uh, I think that uh, it will be all right since I have my own copy of the audio. Yeah, probably. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm not really losing you at all, so I haven't noticed any jumps in the conversation. Uh, yeah, I, I have less internet than you. I, that, that's. That's basically how that goes. In the world of buckets of internet, you have the smaller bucket. Is that a... Yes. Sh should I go... Should uh, I just... I, fact, I'm going to brag YouTube about video that. video has actually frozen. I, I'm going to go around to people that don't know what, me. having the larger internet and bucket? And I'm going to tell them that my internet bucket is larger than Dr. Cone's. Or is it Dr. R.J. Cone? That's... I, I, Dr. Cone is, is... I mean, my last name is Cone. The, the R is my first initial. That doesn't have anything to... No, so the funny thing is that not only am I losing you, but I also... The uh, YouTube video is also frozen for me. So, uh... So, yeah. There we go. I have the smaller internet bucket. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, we we should have been... Oh, wow. It restarted at low... Go ahead. Yeah, we, we we should have we should have been uh, synced up perfectly. So, uh, yeah, who knows? Yeah, we, well, all you have to do is look at our two audios in Audacity and go to the place where it goes sync, and just you know, as soon as we as soon as that that blip on the on the screen ends, just cut it there and paste them over each other, and we should be good to go. I'm leaving all of this in the video. <laughs> No, no, it's totally reasonable. It's not like we were really talking about the game to begin with anyway, so. What were we talking about? Did, did we actually talk about anything? I, I can I can insult House of Cards more. I know a lot of people like it, so well, it we, makes me we feel good to about, make about, them angry and talk about, about it. I stir up strife. Well, I mean, well, that, that's all right. That's that's 90% of what the internet is for. Well, that's what this game is about. Did I do it? Did I full circle us? Okay? Well, yeah, but I mean, it's it's. You may have yes, but that's that's a good thing. I mean, now we can say, you know, look look at this game. It is, it, it is it is it is almost as soul killing as the show, and not because not because of its clunky interface, but because you quite literally get pigeonholed into nonsense over and over again. <laughs> About three or four times, and that's just our yeah, conversations. That's not even the game. 